Peace and hello and welcome back to the WRT Boxing Show. This uh, little segment here I'm doing is a stay busy fight. It's uh, for the 154. There's a six rounder. It's Nathaniel Gell- Gellamore. He's taking on Asuza Herrera. Now, Asuza Herrera, like I said, you probably won't know him. It's a stay busy fight for Nathaniel Gallimore. His uh, most recent outing was the demantu of Justin Deloach in the fifth round. Um, Nathaniel is ranked in all four top uh, sanctioned bodies in WBC is number 14, WBA is number 4, IBF is number 7, and WBO is number 10. So this is his fourth fight of the year. So he's really trying to just stay busy, climb the rankings. And would he and how he did demantle Justin Deloach, it's no surprise how no one's really calling to give this guy a fight. He's a very high risk with no reward. He's a 19 and 1 with one draw, 16 KOs, 76 KO power. <clears throat> He's 29 years old. He's 5'11 with a 79 inch reach. Uh, Herrera is a 33 years old, 5'9. He's 18 and 10 with one, eight KOs. But he's been, he, out of his 10 losses, he's been KO'd seven times. Like I said, this is a stay busy fight. His 2017 looked like his first fight was 4'8, 17, 4'29, 17. He fought Justin Deloach on 7'30, 17. And now he's going to fight 11'17. Um, I mean, 11'17, 17. 17. So this is under the Roy Jones Jr. promotions in uh, Iowa. So like I said, this is a, just a stay busy fight. It's a six rounder. Herrera, um, he's ranked number uh, Deloach. I mean, not Deloach. Um, Gallimore is number eighteen in the world. And uh, Herrera, his, his best name on his resume is Jorge Cota. If you don't recognize that name, that is the name that uh, everyone was making a big deal about the way Erickson Lubin knocked out somebody with a nice just lunging right hand. That was Jorge Cota. So for all you people who gave Erickson Lubin high praises and high credit for that opponent, for that knockout, uh, Herrera has fought that guy, so he's that's that's what he has. So f- for the, uh, this is a stay busy fight for Nathaniel. No problem, Gallimore. I I I like what he did against Justin Deloach. I actually picked Justin Justin Deloach to win that fight, and I became a fan of Gallimore during that fight. So I'm gonna follow him from now on. Try my best to watch his career. He seems like a very promising guy in the 154. Now the breakdown and prediction of this fight, like I said, it's a stay busy fight. Defeating leagues, Herrera is very slow. He's just going to come forward, lean forward on you. He's not going to use any type of ring generalship. He's not much of a back foot fighter. But Gallimore, <clears throat> he's, his legs are more about um, punch and leverage. He's a pressure fighter. But he can use side steps just to recon retake center of the ring. He's not much of a mover either. So I'm going to give the legs, even though they're both very basic in that department, I'm going to give it to Gallimore just for, I guess, he gives himself decent um, possibilities for the next punch delivery with his feet set up and the way he delivers leverage with his power. Which is from his legs. So I'm gonna give that category to Nathaniel. Then comes the defense. Herrera is gonna be there to be hit. He's just gonna come forward, high guard, lean up on, lean up on you, and just try and jab himself in and try and fight you. He's that, he does that typical description of a Mexican style fighting. He's gonna be in the face until he either wins. Or he gets stopped. Really, not much defense. A little slipping of the head. Like I don't, I don't like to catch count that as much because 
it's a necessity, you know. Don't stand there and get hit in the head. But yeah, he slips. He has a high guard. Nothing really too special for Herrera. All right, Gallimore does. He could catch and shoot. Catch and shoots pretty well, actually. Um, he's he's a little loose in the he's a little loose in the the ways he can he has good movement. But mainly he he's a pressure fighter, so he's just he's gonna come down and just high guard you, slip a little, bend at the waist and catch and shoot you. So the defense I'm going with Gallimore. On the punching and the whole arm category. This is it's like I said, this is all slant slide to Gallimore. Gallimore has a power, he has a stronger jab, he has a, the combinations and the speed variations. He throws uppercuts, he doubles up on the hooks, double up on the, any hand he could double up on, whether it's a jab, a uh, jab to a hook. So the, the breakdown is there, and the prediction I'm saying Gallimore gets in a few rounds, and then Gallimore should, should knock this guy out because this is a six round fight. Um, he might just take the rounds just to stay busy, but Gallimore punches hard, so I say he's gonna get him out. He's gonna knock him out in four rounds. Yeah, Nathaniel Gallimore, no problem, no problem right here. Uh, fourth round knockout for Nathaniel Gallimore. Thank you for your time and thank you for your support.